A New Year's Eve fireworks show at Olive Branch City Park got more of a light show than they bargained for after fireworks may have set off several grass fires there. Thank you for joining us. I'm April Thompson. Alex has the afternoon off. As WRAG's Mike Sirianni reports, no one was hurt, but these fires, well, they damaged at least two baseball diamonds. And the wind is blowing pretty good, so it's spreading really, really fast. Viewer video from a New Year's Eve fireworks show at Olive Branch City Park shows a large grass fire reportedly started by fireworks burning out of control. Yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen. Oops. The fire started while hundreds were attending an event called Light Garden in the park that featured music, food, a light display, and fireworks. High winds Sunday night spread the fire, which burned for a few minutes before firefighters took action. No one is using fire extinguishers. Seems like this guy here is just trying to kick it. Monday, damage caused by the grass fire was obvious. Two baseball diamonds burned, but a nearby building with restrooms and concession stands was not touched by flames. Oh my goodness, I mean, everyone was just kind of surprised. Ebony Hendricks of Olive Branch and her husband attended the New Year's Eve event and were sitting in these bleachers not far from where the grass started burning. Hendricks was surprised to see how widespread the damage really was. I didn't know that it was all the way in that field either, so yeah, I just kind of walked up to take a look at it, and I was like, okay, it was further than what we actually thought it was. She says the grass fire burned while fireworks exploded overhead, and then the crowd started to notice something was wrong. Once we noticed the fire trucks and everything came, we were like, okay, this is serious. And it's like when they were trying to put it out, the, um, the fire out, fireworks was steady going, so we was like, okay, it's time to go. According to Olive Branch, the full fireworks show went off with only a slight delay. In Olive Branch, Mike Suriani, WREG News Channel 3. Because of the holiday, Olive Branch City Hall was closed, as well as the city's Department of Parks and Recreation. We